being here. Um, it's fight week, and we are really, really excited to uh, showcase a, an amazing, amazing card, a stacked card that obviously uh, all fans um, deserve. Headlined by uh, by Brian Garcia, uh, the, uh, the sensation of boxing, who is uh, taking uh, 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 boxing uh, uh, to a whole new level. And we're very excited, thrilled that we can be here at the uh, the Honda Center, where many big legends, many big fights have taken place, like the likes of uh, Julio Cesar Chavez. Um, we staged here the first uh, world title for Canelo Alvarez against uh, against Hatton, and so we're now very very uh, excited to uh, to showcase this uh, this amazing card on Valentine's Day. Um, it's a Valentine Valentine's Day brawl uh, live on the zone. And uh, we couldn't be uh, any happier. Uh, Ryan Garcia, who is uh, 21 years old, he's uh, a contender who uh, who is quickly on the rise and has developed uh, to an athlete that uh, is on the verge of uh, breaking through and winning that uh, winning that uh, that world title that everybody uh, uh, is always searching for. Uh, like I said, we have an amazing, amazing undercard. Um, we have uh, the one and only uh, Jorge Linares, who uh, has fought uh, for world titles. He's a multiple world uh, world champion. Uh, he's obviously in a very uh, difficult uh, and tough, tough fight um, against a fighter who. Uh, who uh, has been in uh, with Ryan Garcia? So this, as you can see, this card is a uh, is a very very important card for uh, for all participants uh, who are fighting on this uh, on this uh, on this card. Tickets are still available and are priced from uh, twenty five dollars all the way to uh, one hundred and fifty dollars. They are going extremely extremely fast, um, as you can imagine. All fighters, Ryan Garcia has been has been amazing uh, promoting this event, and uh, and all his fans and everybody's fans here are uh, are, are going to come out uh, and have uh, a, a nice date with their with their partner, uh, watching some great fights, some great knockouts. So so we feel that uh, we feel that Valentine's Day can uh, can be uh, can be a a tradition every single year now where you know instead of doing the normal the normal taking out your girlfriend or taking out your boyfriend or taking out you know your partner you can come out watch some fights and then you can go to dinner and you know and enjoy a, a nice evening but uh we we have to give credit to uh to uh to ryan whose uh, whose idea was hey why not fight on valentine's day you know and get everybody out here and uh so so we're thrilled that uh, that we can stage this fight at the Honda Center uh, during uh, Valentine Valentine's Day, uh, and uh, and everybody can have a great time. Uh, like I said, um, you can buy your tickets at the uh, Honda Center box office. Uh, but if you're not here live, you can subscribe or tune in if you already have the zone, which is the destination for boxing, uh, the zone in, in its one year of, of existence, right Joe, um, has been doing an incredible, incredible job in, uh, in giving the fight fans the best fights, uh, including all the Canelo fights, including uh, uh, Anthony Joshua, uh, Andy Ruiz, uh, every world champion that uh, that Golden Boy Promotions has, uh, every fighter that uh, that uh, Eddie Hearns and Matchroom Boxing promote, uh, the Zone is the destination for boxing, and it's only getting better and better and better. So we want to thank uh, we want to thank the Zone for uh, for giving us uh, this opportunity, and um, 
like I said, I mean, this is the destination for boxing, so thank you, Zone. I also want to thank uh, the sponsors, uh, uh, Hennessy, who has been doing an incredible, incredible job. Thank you for being in our corner. Never stop, uh, never settle. So at this time, I want to take the uh, opportunity to uh, call up to the podium uh, my partner. He is a Hall of Famer. He is uh, a legend. He is a fighter who, uh, who has uh, broken records and who is uh, the epitome of what, of what a, a fighter should be. And that is, my, that is my friend, my partner, and Hall of Famer Bernard Hopkins to say a few words. Bernard. Thanks, thanks, Oscar. You know, he said everything I was going to say, so I'm going to be really uh, short. I like to say to the fighters to the right and to the left, kind of simple. You want the spotlight, then you got to go take it. You know what I mean? Nobody's going to give it to you. So I have a great fight both sides, and I understand that the legacy always been very important when it's over. So remember, be mindful tonight. I mean, you know, a couple days from now. Be mindful of any night that you can go ahead and shine so you can catch the fans around the world attention. And then you become that man, you become that star. So look at it like that. This is your opportunity, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, uh, thank you, Bernard. So the Honda Center is a legendary sports venue and uh, we're excited to bring this special Valentine's Day brawl to this iconic arena. We expect a full house, uh, like I mentioned before. Uh, we expect fans from all over uh, Southern California and know that it's going to be an action-packed mega, mega fight. At this time, I'd like to welcome uh, Tim Ryan, who is the CEO and President of the Honda Center, to say a few words. Tim. Well, Bernard, I'll be brief as well, and I want to say thank you to Golden Boy. I want to say, Oscar, thank you. We're bringing an unbelievable card to this building once again. We've been very fortunate to have some of the greatest fans, I believe, in the world right here in Orange County. We've hosted 55 fights prior to this. This will be number 56. Robert, thank you for your support and your belief in Orange County. We sincerely appreciate it. Thanks to DAZN, I've read more about that than I had ever known about. What a phenomenal platform to showcase boxing and a card like this. I want to wish all the boxers Good luck, good health. We have sold a tremendous number of tickets. As you said, Oscar, there's still a few left. It's gonna be an exciting evening. Our fans here are fired up. I'm fired up about it. I'll be here throughout the evening. So again, on behalf of the Honda Center, Oscar, Bernard, Robert, the Zone, I look forward to it. All of our fans throughout Southern California look forward to this. Another phenomenal night of boxing. Thank you very much. Tim, thank you very much. For the past year, our relationship with the Zone has continued to grow for the best. And the Zone has the best schedule in boxing history, as evident by the amazing year they had in 2019 of can't miss fights. Uh, throughout our partnership, Golden Boys uh, best fights have become more accessible and affordable for fans without the price tag of traditional pay-per-view. Uh, I can't wait uh, for 2020. 2020 is shaping up to be even better. So, uh, and we have one man to thank. I want to call up to the podium. Uh, he is the uh, executive vice president of the Zone North America. That is uh, my good friend Joe Markowski. Joe. Thank you, Oscar. It's great to be here in uh, sunny Southern California. For me, the, the, the narrative around this fight is pretty straightforward. Is Ryan Garcia a social media phenomenon, or is he a future world champion? And 2020 will reveal a lot on that front. Starting with the big question, can Ryan put on a show on Valentine's Day? Can he take on a big challenge later in the summer? Can he raise a belt above his head before the year's end? The answers to all those questions will be revealed in due course, starting Friday night exclusively on design. It's early in the year, but we're pretty excited about what we've delivered thus far in 2020. Jaime Munguia at the start of the year, successfully moving up into one of boxing's hottest divisions. 
a stacked card around the Super Bowl in Miami. Ryan Garcia and Jorge Linares, as we mentioned, in separate bouts this week in California. And to close the month out on leap year day, Mikey Garcia in a huge fight with Jesse Vargas in Texas. That's all in the first two months of this year. And as Oscar mentioned, we're promising a lot more to come in 2020. To my right and my left, to wish you good health and good luck for this Friday night. Thanks to all the media for joining us today. We look forward to seeing all of you come Friday night here in Southern California or on the zone. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Joe. And uh, look, Saturday night will feature an impressive, impressive undercard with many contenders and prospects. Some of them have joined us today. Uh, opening of the night. Uh, we have Alejandro Pimpon Reyes with a record of 2-0 and, and 2 knockouts. Alejandro, right here. Um, he's going to be opening up the night. He's uh, from Mexicali, Mexico. Uh, he'll be fighting in a four-round lightweight battle against Nelson uh, Colon, uh, who Reyes is here with us uh, today, right? Reyes is here. And so that should be opening up the night, um, the special night uh, on, on, uh, on the 14th of... Uh, of February. Also, uh, I actually would like to call up to the podium uh, a newly signed prospect uh, uh, at Golden Boy Promotions. He has a record of uh, six and zero and five KOs. He has the pedigree to uh, become something special, and he is of uh, of Parlier, California. Uh, he'll be participating in a six round uh, Walter Weight bout against Daniela Avengalista. Uh, let me call up to the podium to say a few words. Evan Sanchez. Evan. How are you guys doing? Um, it's my first time, so I appreciate you with me. Uh, first, I want to thank um, Golden Boy for putting me on the big old card from Grant Garcia. Um, it shows a lot that um, I'm meant to be on the big card. Um, I'm showing somebody that I do belong in this card, so that means a lot to me. Um, second, I want to thank um, the 200 people that I'm bringing from the Central Valley coming out supporting me on a Friday night. It takes like three hours here in LA, and that means a lot of people coming out and supporting me. And um, I just, I just want to say, um, Friday night, hopefully I can take over the spotlight. No offense, Ryan, but hopefully I can take over the spotlight and um, show everybody what I got that night. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Evan. Um, yeah, 200 people. Imagine. Bringing, uh, bringing down on a Friday night, it's going to be pretty cool, so uh, congratulations, man. You, uh, you deserve it. At this time, I would like to uh, call up to the podium as well. He's, a, uh, he's, he's also a, a, a top, top prospect that we uh, at Golden Boy uh, uh, believe in. Um, he has not only the amateur pedigree, but also, you know, he has that work ethic and that, that, that strong punch and that will to just go out there and, 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 and impress, the, uh, impress the crowd. I'm really excited by this fighter and uh, I'm sorry I mispronounced your name, uh, but uh, Bek Demir, Bek Demir, Bek Demir, with a record of 4-0, three knockouts of Indio, California. You want to say a few words? You want to say a few words? Come on, come on. With a record of four and and three knockouts. Salam alaikum, my man. We are going to see you Ahmad. We are going to see you again. 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 We are going to Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming up here to support us. Uh, thank you to Golden Boy and World of Boxing for giving me this opportunity. Uh, it was a great training camp. Thank you to my coaches, Joel Diaz and Antonio Diaz. Thank you to my sparring partners. If they were hurt, I didn't make it on purpose. And uh, it's going to be a great fight. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Um, so he's fighting uh, Marc Antonio Perivan with a record of 25 and 5 and 16 KOs. 
who's already fought for a world title. So uh, Bek Demir is, is is on the is on the fast pace. He's I mean we we plan on possibly fighting him for a world title very 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 soon. Um, he's uh, like I said has the pedigree. He has I don't know how many amateur fights, but has a lot of experience, a lot of power. He comes forward. He's very fat friendly. So uh, we're we're really looking forward to this fight. It's a tough fight. Uh, Marc Antonio Parivan is uh, is no walk in the park. I'm sure I'm sure Boy Diaz and everybody prepared you well. So come out fighting and uh, be the best of them. All right. Three hundred and fifty amateur fights. Three hundred and fifty amateur fights. Knockouts in amateur. Two hundred knockouts. So I mean, you can imagine four and all three knockouts. You you possibly be fighting for a world title like in two or three fights. So. Uh, good luck. Good luck Friday. Okay, good luck. Also, uh, also, I, I want to introduce a young man. They call him the T-Dog. T-Dog, T-Dog Baba. Uh, he has a record of 7-2 and two with one knockout. He's a native of Los Angeles, California, fighting out of uh, the West Side Boxing Club. And so the West Side Boxing Club has been doing an amazing, amazing job producing these young champions, young hungry champions. And uh, Westside Boxing Club, a shout out, thank you. Thank you very much for all your uh, for all your continued support that you give boxing and these young kids. So let me call up to the podium if he's here. Is he here? Is Nava here? Yeah, Nava, Nava, call up to the podium. The record of seven and two, one knockout, Tenoch Titlan, T-Dog, Nava. First thing, I want to thank uh, Golden Boy, Golden Boy staff, Oscar, Eric, Roberto Diaz for having me in such an amazing card and I just can't wait till Friday. Friday will be a good night under this amazing card and we're ready, ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, opening up the... Uh which I call the championship telecast. All right, Joe? Uh, we start, what, at 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. We have uh, four high-caliber, exciting fights, exciting fighters who, uh, who, will give, who will give everything, everything they have inside the ring, live on the zone. I'm uh, really excited for this fight. Really excited for uh, the next two uh, gentlemen I'll be uh, calling up to the podium, right? Um, let me first call up, um, let me first call up a, a, a fighter who, uh, who has been taking the boxing world by storm. Um, he's a very uh, flamboyant, um, very colorful, which I love. He's very, uh, you know, and he backs it up. He backs it up. He dresses sharp. He wears no shirt. Uh, you know, and he backs it up. You know, and it, it can be 20 degrees in Philly and you still wear no shirt. I mean, you know, he just he, and he gets inside the ring and he backs it up. I mean, that's that's how that's how that's how amazing this this young man is. So let me call up to the podium with a record of 13 and 0 and nine knockouts. Let's uh, let's welcome Blair the Flair Cox. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Blair the Flair, the most exciting man in boxing. I would like to pay homage in all respect to everyone here on Golden Boy staff. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Um, all the people from the zone for putting on such a big card. It's a fantastic opportunity to once again grace this uh, this world with true talent and excitement. Um, it's, it's great being on a card, on the undercard of such a great talent as Ryan Garcia, my boy. And um, hey, you can't you can't you can't get no better in entertainment or in boxing. So with that note, I'll leave you with the infamous. <clears throat> Woo!
The most excited man in boxing is gonna come and take over the division, the welterweight division. You cannot stop it, cause I am here to stay. Thank you, thank you, Blair. Thank you. Um, he'll be, um, he will be um, defending his NABF uh, Walter Wing title in a 10 round clash against a young man who, uh, who is going to bring it. Who is going who is to bring it. He's ready. He's prepared. It's going to be a great fight. Let me introduce to you Samuel Cody. Samuel Cody. Samuel Cody. Samuel. First of all, I give you little, I give you little to Oscar Jaria, Ferdinand, and Oh, oh, oh! Stop the great one! Okay, stop the great one! Trust me. Trust me. I will trick. I will. 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 I
upcoming opponent that I'm fighting. He's a real good fighter, and that's, that's all I uh, fought coming up in the boxing game. It's good fighters and stuff like that. So I tip my head off to the young fighter who was fighting me today, knowing I'm a dangerous fighter and everything. But it's time, it's time for me to get back to where I'm going to win this streak. And I think that's what I'm going to do Monday. And soon we fight on Valentine. Hey, I started a love list, so he's going to be the first one on my love list. <laughs> Coming up Friday night, we're fighting, and I know he's coming to fight, so I'm about to pull the tricks out the bag on the young fighter. And I just want to say it's going to be a great fight. Good call. I need to run them card. So it's just a blessing me being here, fighting on the golden ball card again. Thanks. All right, now for the, uh, for the co main event which is a very, uh, a very special co-main event. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always really excited to, uh, to, uh, to introduce this young man who has uh, probably one of the best uh, styles uh, in boxing. Uh, we saw him fight, we saw him fight against uh, Lomachenko, where I'm sure everybody was shocked that he, uh, at uh, you know seeing Lomachenko on the canvas for the first time ever in his entire career, um, and this young man did it with a beautiful combination. Um, you know we 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 strongly feel that uh, that this fight here, this home main event, is uh, is 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 a fight that uh, that can create uh, one of those one of those uh, fights of you know fights of the year. Uh, candidates, you know, uh, it's that type of matchup. Uh, both contenders are just an incredible, incredible uh, uh, talents uh, that, that they possess. So uh, let me uh, let me call up to the podium first uh, a young man uh, that is from uh, from that lives here in in, in Los Angeles. Um, he's from uh, Hidalgo, Hidalgo, Mexico, Tulancingo. Tulancingo, Tulancingo, Mexico. Uh, he's had an amazing career. He's had, he's been in amazing fights. He was in with uh, with Ryan Garcia um, uh, in a great, great fight. Um, and uh, he has the skills. He has the work ethic. He has the mentality to uh, to to become a world champion. But obviously, he has to he has to face probably uh, uh, one of the toughest. Uh, fighters on the planet today uh, on Friday nights, but he's ready for it and, and that's exactly who he is so with a record of 19 and 4 and 8 knockouts please uh, welcome Carlos the Solution Morales well it's my second time doing this press conference thing so I'm fairly new to this stuff um, the first time I did this, I made a mistake. I said, uh, I want to thank my promoter, Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. But at the time, he was not my promoter, so I guess it worked out. I'm part of Golden Boy now, so. Uh, but, you know, I'm really excited to to be able to fight somebody like Jorge Linares. He's probably the best um, lightweight in this um, in this era. Uh, he has, he's won you know, multiple world titles in different weight divisions, and uh, I'm just excited to be able to test my skills against a future Hall of Famer in the sport of boxing, so uh, I'm happy for that. I'd like to thank uh, Golden Boy Promotions, uh, Robert Diaz. Uh, if it wasn't for them, then I wouldn't be here and be part of Golden Boy. I'm also excited to be in the Ryan Garcia card. Uh, you know, he, this kid is making a lot of noise in the sport of boxing, and I'm just happy that I was part of it. I fought him. We gave the fans a good fight, and uh, we move on. So now my next task is to fight a, a future Hall of Famer, Jorge Linares, and I'm going to give him uh, a good fight that night, and hopefully we come out victorious. And I want to thank my team, uh, Rod Davis, my trainer Joey, my brother Raul, and everybody that... Uh, that is here right now. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.
very much, uh, Carlos. Um, so, like I was saying, um, you know, Jorge Linares has been in there with the best, and and um, you know he he will go down as a Hall of Famer. Um, you know, um, he's a hard worker. He's dedicated. He's disciplined. And uh, Friday night again will be a very very tough fight. I mean, Carlos is a fighter who. Uh, who brings it, who has the skills, who has the determination, and who is ready himself. So we're really, really looking forward to uh, to this matchup uh, as, as the co-main event. He has an impressive record of 46 and five and 28 knockouts. Please welcome Jorge El Nino de Oro Linares. Thank you, Carl. So, hello to everyone. I'm so excited and happy to be here. This is my first time in Photo Center, California. Thank you to, to all the support. I want to say uh, thank you to Tazon, Golden Boy. Uh, thank you to all the support. Uh, Roberto Diaz from Golden Boy, taking promotion to, uh, from Japan. All my team, Team Linares, uh, Jose de la Cruz. Thank you to all the support. Thank you to all the fans. And I'm here. I'm ready to make amazing show with Carlos Morales this Friday, uh, Valentine's Day, and this beautiful place and this amazing uh, car. Also, uh, good luck to Ryan Garcia. It's, it's amazing to good luck to all the boxers. Um, we can make amazing show this, uh, this Friday. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Jorge. And, um, we, we strongly feel that that uh, this coming event uh, will will ignite and start up the uh, the festivities uh, leading up to the main event, which I'm which I'm thrilled to be uh, announcing uh, right now. Um, Francisco Fonseca, who uh, who represents a, a recent wave of young talents from uh, Managua, Nicaragua, um, who have recently had much success in the sport. I mean, he's a fighter who has uh, faced world champions. He's, uh, he's a former world title challenger. He has a great record. He does have the skill. He has the power, the speed. He has it all. And he's been in there with some, uh, with some stiff competition that has tested his skills, that have, that have taken him uh, uh, the distance that uh, that uh, you know we feel we feel that um, that Francisco Fonseca will will ultimately challenge and take Brian Garcia to the next level. Um, a fighter like Fonseca is a fighter who uh, you know in this sport you never know what's going to happen. Uh, but that's who that's who that's who Fonseca is. He's a fighter who's always prepared. He's ready, and he's ready to go. So let me introduce to you, with a record of 25 and two, and 19 knockouts. And this is a record that is against fighters who uh, who are ex who are world champions. Like for instance, uh, he went up against Tank Tank Davis, who uh, a lot of people consider to be. Probably uh, one of the best fighters out there right now at 130 or 135, and uh, and and took him took him several several rounds. Uh, but that's who Fonseca is. He's a tough, tough, durable fighter who has no quit in this game. Like I said, with a record of 25 and 2, 19 knockouts, Francisco Fonseca, Francisco. Buenos días a todos, eh, a los medios presentes, obviamente pues eh, agradecido con Dios primeramente todo, eh, después con Golden Bomb Promotion, La Zon, agradecido con mi promotora obviamente también Buffalo Boxing, agradecido con el Team García por la oportunidad y obviamente pues vengo eh, preparado para, para dar una, un gran espectáculo y obviamente primeramente Dios llevarnos el triunfo y Obviamente, pues, eh, estoy listo para el día viernes por la noche. Good morning to all, all the media here. I'm grateful to God and 
grateful as well to Golden Boy, to the Zone, to my promoter, Buffalo Boxing. I'm also grateful to Team Garcia. I'm going to come prepared to give a great show, and God willing, I'm going to take the win. I'm ready for this. Gracias. Thank you. So this next young man that um, I'm going to have the privilege of uh, introducing, you know, I'm sure I'm sure people know uh, because you've seen the talent, you've seen the power, you've seen the speed. Every single fight, um, you know, we keep. We keep saying, well, is this the next test? <clears throat> is this the guy that's going to give him that challenge? You know, that that tough fight. Uh, we saw it We saw it on the other card of uh, Canelo Alvarez, uh, where, he, where he blew out uh, Duno with one single punch in, in the first two minutes of, uh, of the first round. And, but yet, people are still going to be skeptical of uh, of this young man's uh, talent uh, and and what he really possesses um, I know because I've seen it many times over and over I've been in the sport of boxing for many years I've experienced it myself you know um, you know but as you keep putting tougher challenges in front of him. For some reason, he keeps passing the test. And I myself had tough challenges until my last fight, day in and day out. And, um, but that's, that's what it takes to be great. And I believe this next young man just like every fighter here on the podium wants to wants to be great, we all we all strive to be great. Uh, but these are the tough the, the types of challenges we have to take to be great. And this Friday is is no exception. He knows he's in a tough fight. He knows he has his critics. He knows he has his supporters. He knows he has it all. But one thing that he's very confident of and sure of. Is, is the love for, for the game, the love for boxing, the love for training, the love, the love to be great. And that, that's, that's one thing we, we, we must appreciate. So it is my pleasure to call up to the podium uh, with a record of 19-0 and, and 16 knockouts, Ryan Garcia. Right. Hey everybody, thank you for coming out. Thank you, Golden Boy, for throwing this event. Thank you, the Honda Center. It's dope building. Sick. Thank you, Brazil. Owner. Oh, no. I don't see it. Yeah. But uh, thank you guys for coming out. 2020, man. This is the year to show everybody that I got the skills, and I got the talent, and I got the mentality to become a world champion. You know, like I said, this year all I want to do is take on the big challenge. All I want to do is to show everybody and prove everybody that I put in so much work and so much determination every day, day in and day out. You know, I stay in shape after my fights. I, I sacrifice a lot of things just to become a better fighter. So um, I, this is the first fight of 2020 with a great opponent, you know, Francisco Fonseca. Tough fighter, you know, been in there with a lot of good fighters and gave him a lot of good work. So, you know, this gives everybody a chance to see how good I am. So um, I've worked hard for this fight. I gave it all I got, you know. Um, no matter what, I was like going hard. You know, this guy's gonna bring it, so I can't take nothing lightly. You know, I'm not looking forward to the next fight or the fights coming up. I I'm looking forward to this guy right here. You know, I, I can't look past nobody. You know, so it's gonna be a good one. Uh, thank you guys for coming out and let's put on the best show we can, right? Let's, let's kill it. And let's show everybody why boxers here to stay. And uh, God bless everybody. Let's go. All right. So, so, so forget pay-per-view, forget pay-per-view, subscribe to The Zone if you don't have it. What, what is it, over 100 fights now, Joe? Over 100 fights now you can watch on, on The Zone for the price of less than a pay-per-view. Um, um, 
You get to watch Canelo, you get to watch uh, Ryan, you get to watch Virgil Ortiz, you get to watch Brian Cobbs, you get to, you get to watch everyone on the zone. So if you don't watch it on the zone, come out here to the uh, Honda Center. Uh, Valentine's Day, uh, still tickets available. They're going fast, like I said. So this concludes the press conference. Thank you very much for being here. And uh, we'll pose the uh, fighters for pictures. Thank you.